Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you two cool ways of adding a contact form to every page on your website. We've got one here where it's just above our footer and of course this will appear on every page. And we've got one here where I've got a little button in the footer. I'm going to click on it and it'll pop up a form. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go down to my theme builder. If you go down to your dashboard, go down to Divi, go down to theme builder. There's a the global footer that I created last time. I've got two instances open. Let's close one of those down. I'm going to trash that and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, let's add a global footer. That means it'll appear on every page. We'll build a global footer. And I'll keep the footer very simple today. I'm going to add a row with three columns. I'm going to use this structure for mine today. In the left column, I'm going to put an image. And I'll use my little light colored icon. Let's roll on down. And there's my little icon. That's fine. We'll pop that in there. You can do it with a menu module, but I have mine separately because I like to put a link in back to my home page up here, but it's entirely up to you. In the middle one, I'm going to put a menu module. If we roll on down. We've got a little menu module. Choose your menu right there. Top custom is fine for me. It'll appear in there in just a minute. We're not using a logo. I've done that separately. I'm going to go straight over to design. Layout wise, I want to align it centered. So it's in the middle there. Fantastic. We'll leave that just like that. In our third one, I'm just going to add a button. For the time being, it's not going to do anything, but in a while, we'll use it to pop up our little contact form. Design wise, I just want to align that in the middle. Great. Well, let's go into our row now and make it full width. Green tab for a row. I'm going to go into the green tab. While we're under content, let's give it a dark background. And that's always where you find background and the content. Don't want to make it black, but I want to make it almost black. So let's make it that color there. Fantastic. While we're in there, I want to make it full width, design, sizing, width slider. I'm going to take that up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, Control C. I'm going to paste it in the max width down below, Control V. Or you can just type it in if you want. And as you can see, we got a nice full width row there. Great. Well, let's just adjust our elements so they're more like we want them. We'll go back into our, my little image here. Got to make it a lot smaller. <laughs> so design, sizing. Let's take it down to about the size we want. Something like that. Maybe even a bit smaller, something like that. And alignment just above it, I want to make sure it's in the middle. Again, so we're on mobile devices, it'll be nicely centered. We've got a white background going on on our menu here. I want to take that away. So if we go into there, straight into the background, trash that. Now I know we can't see the menu. Let's go into design, menu text. I'm going to make the active link and the main text link both white so we can see it. And we need to push it down a bit. So let's close up our text. We'll go down to spacing and let's give it a bit of padding on the top. Let's try 10 pixels. Not quite going to do it. What about 15? A little too much there. Take it down to 14 there. Obviously adjust yours as you will. Great. And our button, that looks like it just needs to come down a little bit too. We'll go in there. We actually have to use margin rather than padding for the button. If I put padding on the top of the button, you'll see it'll just get deeper like that. So we have to use margin. Let's delete that. Let's try 10 picks. That'll probably be too much. Yeah, it's about maybe five picks. It's close enough for me. Great. Well, there's our little footer. I've kept it very, very simple. And of course, being global, this will appear on every page. We've got a bit of a gap top and bottom. That's just our section there. Blue tab for a section. Let's take that away. Go into design. That's spacing. We'll go into padding and make sure there's none top and bottom by putting a zero in. 
just put the zero in it'll put the pixels in for you hit the chain it'll do the bottom for you as well great well now let's add the contact form so to do that I'm going to add another section little blue button to add a section regular section I'm going to use a single column in my row here and I'm going to put a contact form in there funny enough there we go and again I'm going to keep this really simple if you want to go into depth with contact forms have a look at one of our contact form videos we've done plenty of them okay so we've got a name email message if you want to add a new field hit the little button there title let's say reach out whatever it is you want to say on yours success message that pops up when the message is sent let's say message sent and the submit button I'm happy with it to say submit you can put in anything else you want down there the important part is the email just here the email that the forms going to be sent to so you want to put in you at your email so me at my email.com don't want to redirect we got spam there protection you can use a third party such as Google recapture if you've got an API key or a basic or you can switch it off there if you want to don't want to link this to anywhere I will give it a bit of a background though I'm gonna give it a black background I'm gonna click on the black field there and take the opacity slider this variegated slider down to about 50% so when I put an image behind it's gonna look good in there let's just give it a bit of space all around I'm gonna go into the design spacing I'm gonna give it a hundred pixels top and bottom and 50 pixels left and right again just put in the number it'll put in the pics hit the chain it'll do the opposite side perfect but I want to pop that into the middle make it white perhaps in color and our little capture text easiest way to do that is just to click on the blue circle with a paintbrush it'll take you straight to it I'm gonna make it white I'm gonna pop it in the center and let's make it bold perhaps and let's give it a bit more line height so it's got a bit more space there perfect that's gonna work for me and we'll do similar for our little capture text there a little paintbrush takes us straight to the capture text all I'm gonna do is make that white great just to make this a little more interesting let's put an image in the background of our section here blue tab for the section again here's the background I'm going to go over to images pop in a background image and let's use that crazy picture I used before great well we've got our little contact form there but it's below our photo I want it above now you can either just drag it up that way the easiest way is to hit the little purple button and if we look over the right hand side we've got a little layers button right here between the search and the question mark click on it and just drag the section up by left clicking and pulling and releasing there we go fantastic it's now on the top so let's save our changes now let's X out up here make sure all our changes are saved on this page and if we go back to the page that didn't have the footer on there and I refresh we've now got a contact form just above our footer and that's going to appear on every page and they can pop in there fill it out and send it off but what if you wanted to pop this up from this button over here perhaps really easy we've done all the work we need to do all we need to do is copy and paste a little bit of code now so I've got a page open here and I'll put this URL down below for anybody that wants it if we go about halfway down this page and it's a great read if you want to read it we've got some CSS code need to copy all of this code from the B to the closing curly bracket control C then you want to go back down to your dashboard let's go to the dashboard I'm going to go down to Divi and theme options right at the bottom if we roll down we're on the general tab here you've got a custom CSS panel this CSS if there's anything there just scoot it down a couple of lines we need to paste that in there just like that once you've pasted it in there hit your save changes 
make sure and hit your save changes till you get that little green check mark I'm actually going to undo this because my code's already in there then we need to go back to the other page just below the CSS we got some JavaScript so from the opening script tag to the closing script tag copy that control C we're going to go back to our theme options this time we're going to roll back up to the top make sure you've got your CSS in that box and saved we're going to go to integration tab add code to the head of your blog again if there's something in there just scoot it down a couple or you paste underneath it if you want to paste that script in there again hit that save changes I'm not going to save mine because again my script is all already in there but once you've pasted yours in there just hit your save changes again you get a little green check mark okay now if we go back over here and roll back up a bit it tells us that to make this happen we need to give our button a class name of etlb button one to tell it to pop up our form which we need to give the class of elb content one so let's grab this first one elb content one control c to copy go back to our theme builder into our global footer again I need to go into our contact form section or whatever section it is you want to pop up in our case this blue tab for the contact form over to the advanced CSS IDs and classes make sure you put it in the class not the ID and we need to paste that little class name of ELB content one now if you look back over here the button itself that we want to pop up that module with needs to be called ELB button one if I copy that control C now we go back to our theme builder if I go down to the button now that we created down there go into the button the dark tab again over to the advanced that's always where you'll find CSS IDs and classes it's a class name make sure we put it in there we'll paste that in there now if I save this save the changes again X out make sure everything's saved here and we go back to our page that has the contact form in it now if I refresh this page that contact form should disappear as it has and if I click on the button our contact form is going to pop up obviously probably want to change that click here to contact us on the button button perhaps just go in there or whatever it is you want to put in there let's make that a small O and again save everything exit the visual builder make sure everything's saved here go back to our page and refresh and now we've got contact us down there and we've got a little close icon up here so there you go guys there's two ways of adding a contact form to every page on your site one by just adding it to the footer another by adding it to the global footer and inserting that bit of code so we can use it as a pop-up I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day